Okay, I'm here I am with Dark Pictures House of Ashes, the third game. I actually didn't play the first two games, so I didn't play Man of Medan or Little Hope. Just played a bit and I forgot to play them again because I was too busy. But let's start House of Ashes and I do have a feeling that this one is going to be actually a lot better because of uh, the War of Iraq and Sumerian mythology. It's the thing was Sumer and Sumerian and that has to be something really unique in terms of terror and crappiness <laughs> okay yeah the thing with like uh, so this is like when you play with Egypt but there's something about summer like cursed Akkad um, something by Sumer Sumerian summer which is actually superior to Egypt in many ways new story uh, I'm gonna go for forgiving survival is expected your skills will be tested and death is inevitable okay now I'm gonna go for forgiving please forgive me uh, by the gods new slot Yes, I'm gonna play with a controller. And these games have revolutionized the way we play video games of terror. Because they remind me in a way of the games of the 90s. But like just slightly because in the 90s it was more like point and click. Now we can actually use a controller but it's this cinema type of thing. So video games as in cinema as in movies and that's the edge, the different. Oh, nice, uh, very poetic. Oh, this is from the Bible, Hosea. <laughs> Every choice has a consequence, yes. Every choice has a consequence. I guess I'll I'll have to see all the endings in a YouTube video, just like what I did with the other uh, video games, to see all the possible endings. I never quite understood these things, you know, because in today's day and age in the internet uh, nobody actually plays the game uh, several times to see all the endings, I doubt it. I mean, you actually play it once, you see one ending, and then you just go to YouTube and see all the rest. It's not like Grand Theft Auto or like a fighting game or something else. Whoa. Okay, I just started the game and we're already like in... Uh, in... Uh, Akkad. Oh, 2231 BC. Ah, oh, this is the past. No! I don't want to die! Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Barato, forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to the cell. I'll deal with him later. I'm actually wondering if they actually did this thing You're back in, in luck, the day. Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. General. We should leave this place. King, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. The moon god sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this hole not famous enough for my mistake? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The moon god sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are... Hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sands. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. <laughs> Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? 
do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen? Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. Okay. Uh, should we keep her alive by your command? No, I'm not. I will not Fighting. kill her. Would it not be wise to keep the girl alive? She's an enemy scout. We could learn the Gutian's plans. No. Every drop of blood brings us closer to salvation. <laughs> she must die. <laughs> ah, crap. I was really fast, I literally don't know what I did. Just follow the instructions. Um uh, not really good with these type of games. Actually this is not even a video game, it's more like a interactive movie. That's the reason why you actually do this. <gasps> yeah, that's disgusting. Man, you don't see this often, do you? Wait, can I actually pause the game? Continue collection setting written main menu. You have only made choices with your heart where possible. Okay. Wonder what the saving method is. I guess it's automatic saving. So I guess the cursed uh, people, people who died in this stupid war and their spirits are cursed and they're gonna be uh, the ones that are gonna... Gods give me strength. Gods give me strength. And the K 
King is dead. Mad King. Mm. So it's already like a beast or something. A spirit. Monster. Forgiveness, but the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. Even my daughter's death couldn't wake me to the truth. I followed a fool into the abyss. Don't let his ruin become ours. This is your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacomb. I think I should trust you? You have no choice. I found him! Too much darkness, and you see darkness everywhere. <laughs> um, but I have to say, you know, it's kind of like even more inter entertaining in a way because of Sumerian mythology and all that stuff. Help me with this. Although I'm not gonna go into the details right now because you know this is just uh, B. Wow, this is something new. I feel the heartbeat. <laughs> it means synchrony with the heartbeat. Just press A. Didn't really understand. Okay. That's actually easier than I thought, you know. Uh, uh, that just makes things more emotional. Yo, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I don't like spiders or insects when they come out of, of holes like that. Okay, so I can actually move in the game. Find the secret exit, search the catacombs. Use R to move camera and light source. Graphic-wise, the game is freaking awesome in a way. Like, 
this is unexpected. I actually didn't think I was able to move in the game. I can actually save the game now. Continue. Okay, so I guess the, sa the game is saved right there. Super again. Uh, really cool game. The effects of the effects of the fire are awesome. The lights. The fact that I'm in a, in a catacomb and stuff. Um, the walls, yes. Learn of the weapons of mass destruction. Yeah, I you know that weapon. That's like a weapon in in their hand. Like that's a technology. So uh, if you study summer, summer and everything else, and to do with the creation of humanity and all that thing, and forbidden history, then you're gonna be in for a surprise. Inspect. Uh, look around. And there's something uh, here. Premonition unlocked, okay. Horizon. Somebody is uh, going up. Okay, premonition. Balatu, Kurum, secrets. Yeah, I never really like that thing with th these games actually to uh, collect collectibles and stuff. I don't really. Why did your king create the temple? Same story that history has taught us. For gold. For glory. For greed. Okay, that's inspected, so what am I supposed to do right now? Any other place to inspect? There's two places to inspect. I inspected them both. Find the exit, find the exit. Search the catacombs, find the secret exit. I want to find the secret exit, where's the exit? Come on, my brilliant mind. There's only two things I can inspect. There's no doors. There's no nothing. Walking in circles and then just approach the other door and that's it. Uh, great. Sometimes I just think too much. And of course you need to have some mummies or statues or mummified statues. You or first. We're safe down here. You first. I doubt we're safe down there, man. What is this that adorns you? The history of Gutiam. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words. Our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? 
I'm gonna be respectful. The enemy of my enemy is a friend. We help each other. There is always hope. Hey, what like the view. That? I go in? Yay, look at that. I can go in. Nice camera. Nice no camera, man. Ways into this tomb. I don't like tombs. We're not alone down here. We're not alone. <laughs> How many ways? I don't like tombs. They're so freaking scary. It scares the scares me. Oh, oh okay. Anything else? Whoa. I definitely don't like the statue. <laughs> definitely. That's uh, pretty much a reptilian. A reptilian indeed. With a very ugly face. Super ugly face. Gotta give him credit, you know, when you look at the walls, they look so freaking photorealistic. It's just amazing uh, the amount of like technology they can use in a, way, in a game like this. Over here. Ha! Huh. That's like an invitation not to go inside. Yeah, that's definitely nothing I was looking forward to. That is a reptilian. Whoa. Together. No! If we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword. Oh man. Fight. I mean I, I would have betrayed him, but it's just like he seems like a nice guy, so. That's it, man. That's it, man. You can actually fight against a, 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 a monster with a sword against a monster. Oh. I mean, it just feels like in the alien movies. So there's more of them. Oh, in current day America, in Iraq. I mean, honestly, these games, they don't reach the level of Resident Evil, but they have something original to them. Ashley Tisdale, okay. I got. I have to say, like the, the the whole cinematic thing is just like in a in a proper Hollywood movie. The way the game started and it was like the prequel and stuff, and then it, it changes to the present day, and the music, the soundtrack. It's it's a decent game. So I wasn't expecting this type of music. And the entry and all that stuff. Yeah, she did a very good job. It's 
super massive games. The choice of um, the soundtrack is quite good. Oh, excuse me. Well, it's uh, kind of like uh, it's been a long day, so that's why I'm trying to relax. But this music doesn't really relax me too much. on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. Will you find the path to salvation or be lost in the darkness forever? Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. I understand. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. I like this introduction in the game. It's good to see you again. You're probably keen to get started. Let us not dally any longer. As you are aware, I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. It's filled with untold stories. Stories about friends and enemies. Loyalty and betrayal. Life. And death. Yeah. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although, I have been known to bend the rules. From time to time. Of course, you're the curator. You're the owner of all the tales. Send into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Or extremely foolish. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures. Pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, the sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. <laughs> this, this whole thing with the curator and stuff is definitely something original. Like, definitely something unique. Uh, it makes you like feel more immersive in the game and this whole thing with Iraq in 2003 it's totally unexpected like they sure picked up a very good uh, setting quite original not not so much used in video games Iraq there is one video game a shooter for Iraq I haven't played it yet it seems like a, more like a Call of Duty type of thing but in Iraq Jason Kolchek intolerant Trip. Rational and secure. Hmm. Not particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Uh, apologetic. Apologize for sounding early. <laughs> impatient. <laughs> Let's go impatient. Is my briefing room prepped? Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, we're good to go. You should read this. Didn't you hear? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. You are? This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Dr. Clarice Stokes. Kolchak. First Lieutenant Kolchak. Well, the briefing room? It's interesting how you can actually say two things or nothing. I guess, you know, in the end... Oh, oh they, nice, I like this scene, yes, definitely. That's definitely my style of... Uh, yeah, 
Although the actress could have been better. Rachel King, CIA field officer. Oh, commanding abrasive. Sergeant, defensive romantic. This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, uh, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. Yep, that's romance in war. Not that it's something awesome, but you know. Rachel King. Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Whoa. Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Husband. Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. Hey, Rachel. Are you going to tell him about us or what? <laughs> you and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's got to be over. Come on. I'll find a way to tell him. Of course, man. Let's find a way to tell him about Maybe us I having sex. It's the right time. <laughs> this bullshit. There's never a right time. Okay. Soon, Nick. I promise. Soon. So she's married. They're both uh, officers in the army, and she's having an affair with a sergeant. I'll see you at the briefing. Typical cliche. Shit. Shit. Why the heck do you sleep with a different guy? I guess that's normal. I should have just like listened um, to the advice of my colleagues and just did the same. Marines. I uh, come to think of it, like she actually has a cute. Uh, I mean, she looks definitely military, but she's not bad, not bad, physically speaking. I wonder... I have to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. <laughs> down down in candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenail. Nice image. Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. Makes me smile. <laughs> we got the CIA, we've got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. God bless America. Yeah, America. It's too bad that you can't say the truth about what happened in Iraq, you know, because you're just like labeled as a conspiracy theorist. But anyway. Yeah, well, I kind of like feel like, to be honest, it even like, like sometimes even like looks better than Call of Duty, in a way. Hey, that's the spirit in the army. See you, old man, busting out those reps. Hey, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Later. We have company. Yeah. What you miss here would like to watch me get my sweat on. Huh? You wanna spot me, little lady? And see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin, he likes social skills. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Uh, yeah, definitely. Sergeant K. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. I'll see you in there, Marine. So, what's his malfunction? Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Spillian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. He's ready and he sleeps with hey, your wife, you man. Got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? <laughs> yeah. So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. I'm your commander, man. Respect the rate. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. And if I'm not mistaken, Lance Corporal, that makes me your commanding officer. <laughs> Shit me, right? <laughs> Crap, it's not shit me. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Give the colonel full sight access. Sir. 
If I were you, I wouldn't get too comfortable behind that desk. <laughs> yeah, that's so because you're like a wise, uh, you know, a wise ass guy. Finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. That's my wife. That's my wife you're talking about. I uh, had no idea. I'm sorry. Nice work, hot shot. <laughs> uh. I guess I, I I don't even care what, what what the outcome is. To be honest, I just want to see the story, the main story, and then I'll check for the endings. Sure, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So she's the queen bitch now. <laughs> she's gone up in the world. <laughs> if it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment. The queen bitch. <laughs> oh man. I gotta say, they know how to do the writing, the scripting, in these cases, in the story. Brett, Inspect the up. briefing room. The data. I'll leave the techie stuff to you. And I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. Uh, I like the yeah. voice. I like her voice. What it's is really this place hot. anyway? Looks like an old ballroom. Well, that's exactly what it is. I guess you damn like to get down on the dance floor. You think if his dance partner stepped on his foot, it'd be an instant off with her head? <laughs> uh, it wouldn't surprise me. Maybe when we're done, I'll let you spin me around a little. As long as you don't step on my foot. There's the queen bitch. Colonel King. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. Ah, uh, man. Should I be arrogant with my wife? Okay, let's apologize. I should have warned you I was moving the briefing forward. That's on me. But things escalated, I had to move fast. I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand, Rachel, but CENTCOM has given their orders. Orders? I'm now commanding officer. I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. I'm sorry, Rach. Somehow I doubt that very much. This is from SOC Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. You can call me Clarice. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? What the fuck is that? Modern art or something? <laughs> this is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. <laughs> you behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The army is giving us a ride out there in their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? 
What the fuck we waiting for? I'm ready. That's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake. Those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah. Too many birds could bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, it could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? We'll keep this small. Man, I will go with air support. I'll put in a request for air support to be on standby. Our birds can fly low under the radar. The site is in the Zagros Mountains, so we'll have plenty of ground cover. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. <laughs> Therese, help me stop the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie, look. Good rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I've got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? And I'm gonna download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. <laughs> Thank you, Clarice. Eric, we need to talk. There's something I have to tell you. Yep. I'm sleeping you with my... Know, it wasn't my decision to take over your operation. This is our big break. Intimate. Let's go intimate. It's, it's a girl, man. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. Eric. Please, let me finish. Not a day went by when you weren't on my mind when I didn't want you by my side. I've missed you so much, Rach. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it, things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse, a lot worse. <sighs> Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that, you and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach. Don't say that. You're not wearing your wedding ring. <clears throat> hey, be careful with that. Oh, shit. Sorry. What you got in that box of tricks anyway? What the fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you? Oh, sure. Check all equipment, then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> yeah, combining war stuff with romantic stuff and wait for down, let's speak to the team, inspect the briefing room, okay. Uh complicated, but I have to say there is something about this uh uh like the other games, they really put you forward to uh like terror from the very first moment and this one is more like uh normal with all the stuff with the military and stuff and then it's gonna seem like Anyway, let's inspect the room. Mission accomplished. Oh, yeah, it's Bush. Man, I don't like... Uh, I don't like those guys. I'm not gonna go into politics. At least video games... 
The good thing about video games is that they allow you to escape reality and just like uh, dive in a world where you don't have to think about anything else until you actually go back into the real world and you have to pay everything <laughs> and go to work and pay debts. And what the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. You want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. So you're my technician. Uh, let's see. So you're my technician. I've heard about you. I should fucking hope so. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. You seem pretty confident, Corporal. Typical soldier. If you need any assistance with the climbing gear, I'm here to help. Sure, I'll manage, Colonel. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. <laughs> Climbing gear. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when like, a guy comes like uh, from a superior. Uh, he's from the superior ranks and uh, speaks with the with the boys on the field. So we group the objective director at the central jail. The, yeah, I, care. I, I don't care. Uh, who cares about this anyway? Let's go next. Next in the army. Secret found. Who cares about secrets? Let's go and speak with the guys. Come on. Saddam Hussein. <laughs> you think we'll bag Chemical Ali at this facility? If he's in the vicinity, we'll get him. <laughs> that almost makes it worth the risk. Almost. Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind a desk. If shit hits the fan. At least we can rely on air support to dig us out. I'm sure it won't come down to that. You seem confident. You seem surprised. Confident, surprised, confident, surprised. Next. Hey guys, do you want to chat? No chat for these guys, nope. Uh, how about the guys in the back? Any chat with you guys? Now you seem like cool fellas, but you're just bored. And I guess Rachel. Can you speak Rachel? Oh. Now you can't speak with Rachel, but I can examine the table here. Is this what I think it is? WP, sir. White phosphorus? It's just for popping smoke. That's all. Restrained, they were just for cover. These are unauthorized. If we break weapons conventions, then we're just as bad as Saddam. I won't allow them on this mission. This is bullshit. We need all the help we can get. Sergeant K, there seems to be some confusion. That was an order, not a talking point. <laughs> Loud and clear, Colonel. We won't be taking them on the mission. We all cool? Yeah. I am. Okay, can I do that again? Have a conversation again? No, I can't. Okay. The dialogue has been updated. Uh, can I speak with Rachel? Oh, I just approached Rachel and... Downloads complete. Let's get to the helos. What? What? You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think I am? I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a nice guy. <laughs> Around here, nice don't cut it. What do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind. Ah, uh, that's where uh, treason and betrayal comes in, and you're gonna suffer all of you. 
Yeah, we're gonna see some really bad stuff happening there. I, I can like... Salim, 1753 hours, almost 6 p.m. Badra Mandali. Imagine living in one of those places, man. Just imagine. It would be so... Salim Otman. Ground forces, Iraqi. In any case, if any of you ever watched this video and you're from Iraq, a big hello to you. Uh, I don't know uh, what's your point of view from what happened in Iraq, but I would be really happy to know. I doubt that anybody from Iraq is going to watch this video, but anyway, just in case. Find Zain. Okay, let's just stop the video here, the game here, because I'm like, I don't want to. I'll continue some other time. It's a nice game, even though I haven't seen any terror yet, but it's actually nice that we, the game has started with, well, it started with that thing with the monsters and uh, in the temple uh, so long ago. But then it's also nice that after that, they just have like the soldier military kind of thing in Iraq. So that gives like the uh, before the storm kind of event. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. And actually, what happens if I pause the game? I can continue, but there's no... Uh, I don't think, yeah, they just continue and then back. Yeah, so that's it.